10 Worst Towns to Live in Wales We don't want to make it boring. Otherwise, we would have listed all the towns in Wales in the order of how they are considered good. Even if we could do that, some people may view such a listing as conjectural. Towns considered good by a reviewer may be seen as bad by another. But then, for the sake of this production, let's assume that all the towns in Wales are good. But they can't all be equally good. If some had higher degrees of goodness, yes, they are better. And if some towns are better than others, the logic follows that some are worse. On that positive note, let's discuss the 10 worst towns to live in Wales. 10. Ebervale Ebervale, the town at the head of the valley which is formed by the Eberfor tributary to the Eber River, is the largest town in Blanau Gwent County Borough. Its direct access to the A465 heads of the Valley Trunk Road doesn't make it a good place to live in Wales. The town bordering the Brecon Beacons National Park, Ebervale, isn't economically viable with the second lowest mean salary in Britain. In fact, for the people to survive, five food banks are operating in the community. This has also affected the town educationally. This is indicated by its having the worst GCSE results in Wales. Meanwhile, Ebervale is the town with the cheapest home price in England and Wales, as no one would be willing to buy a home in a place very bad to live in. 9. Pontypool As we think about Pontypool, we're filled with the emotion of love for the residents of the people. No, this doesn't mean we love to live among them or envy their situation. We only salute their resilience that makes them remain in a town without no places to visit, no nightlife, no restaurants and bars, and with zero social life. This administrative centre of the county borough of Torfen has nothing like a sense of community. Ironically, there's no privacy in this town as almost everyone will notice your presence or absence. Your financial status is in public knowledge. Care needs to be taken in such a town to select a date if you don't want to have an incestuous, amorous affair. 8. Langefni The case of Langefni, the county town of Anglesey, whose name in Welsh means Church on the River Sefni, is pathetic. The town, which is home to the principal offices of the Isle of Anglesey County Council and the second largest settlement in that county, has too many bad reviews. But to stay on a kinder side, we would side with those who consider it one of the worst Welsh towns to live because of the number of old people in the town. The town is actually gradually taking up the appearance of old people's homes as it has a higher percentage of older people. That should tell you that the town is boring and is economically disadvantaged. The town's unemployment rate is higher than the national average. 7. Port Talbot What image does the name of the town Port Talbot evoke? If you choose to turn a blind eye to the negatives, you are likely to see a town and community of the home of one of the biggest steelworks in the world. That is cute, but that economic opportunity which covers large areas of land dominating the southeast of the town does not come without a cost for the town. The environmental pollution this has caused for the town some 13 kilometres from Swansea has made it one of the worst places to live. The town is filled with the stench from this and other dirt dominating the place. 6. Lantwit Mayor Our attention is now on Lantwit Mayor, a community in the Bristol Channel coast. This is one of four towns in the Vale of Glamorgan. The community, located about 7.2 kilometres from Cowbridge, 14 kilometres from Bridge End, 16 kilometres from Barry and 24 kilometres from Cardiff has not allowed the nice locations to rub off on it. It is one of the 10 worst places in Wales on this list for anyone who cares about safety. The crime rate there is rather on the high side and this is obviously inimical a good living. We would recommend living in any other place in Wales before mentioning Latwind Mayor. 5. Pontypris this community in Rhonda Sinon Taff, 19 kilometres north of Cardiff, has nothing that can make anyone decide to visit the place. And for the same reason, it is not a good place to live. The town has no history to lay a claim on. To put it softly, the town's history is vague. Sometimes Welsh can maintain some level of loyalty to a bad town to live in if such a town is reciprocating with entertainment or sports. However, there is nothing of that sort in this town. The rugby team in the town known as Ponty has no wins to celebrate and the town has no scenic views. 4. Newport The residents of Newport of all people aren't likely to agree that their city should be here. 
This is because the reason for its inclusion on lists such as this is due to how the residents are perceived by outsiders, mainly passers-by and visitors to the city and county boroughs in Gwent, situated on the river Usk. The people living in this town have been rightly or wrongly accused of dealing in drugs and other unpleasant conduct. Gone are the days when the town was the largest exporter of coal in Wales before the rise of Cardiff. The nature of the fame of this town has changed from an economic hub to being the home of unwashed and uncouth addicts. 3. Merthyr Tydfil When St. Brecon Breconing, the son of King Anlach of Garmatheran, who later came to be known as King Brecon of Breconaeog, named this town after his beloved daughter. Little did he know the town would be one of the worst towns to live in Wales. Today, however, that is the reality of this main town in Merthyr Tydfil County Borough. This town, under the administration of Merthyr Tydfil County Borough Council, is 37 kilometres north of Cardiff. The reason for the average life expectancy, which is one of the lowest in the country, can be traceable to the low quality of life there. The quality of education also in this town is very poor. One day things may get better as the authorities are living no stone unturned to better the lot of this town. 2. Neath this market town and community in the Neath Port Talbot County Borough is located on the River Neath, some 11 kilometres east-northeast of Swansea. The town, historically a part of Glamorgan, is one of the hardest places to overcome life's difficulties. People who mistakenly moved to this town in search of a better life pretty soon found that they have been trapped in a town some people think God has forgotten. The sight of its poorly maintained, decrepit, crumbling station and the terribly offensive and repugnant smell, spit, dirt and heaps of garbage on the streets are some of the reasons why the town of Neath cannot be considered neat enough to qualify as a good place to live. 1. Rill The very worst town to live in Wales is none other than Rill. Though it is supposedly a seaside resort and community, it tops this list for good reason. This is not the only or first of such lists that this town in the county of Denbyshire has ranked highest. The town, lying on the northeast coast of Wales, at the mouth of the River Clwyd, contains many more of the most deprived places in Wales than any other part of the country. Its downward slip into this bad list started in 1990. It continued to go bad until it was declared as one of the worst places to live in Wales in 2017. Since then, it has made some efforts, but that hasn't yielded any significant result. The site of many failed businesses in the town has become a den of criminal gangs. Visitors, as the case in the past, no longer thronged this town from England, including Liverpool and Manchester, while some even chose to settle in real. We're sure this list doesn't look too strange to you. The towns mentioned in this video are those you likely have seen as bad. Please, let's have your thoughts about these towns in the comments section below. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and turn on the notification bell. This is Learning Canteen.